I'm Matt Bowen, I'm 27 years old from Draper, Utah, and I'm a C6 quadriplegic. So growing up my whole life, I was always super active. I played every kind of sport from football to lacrosse to track and field, and loved being outside, playing anything, doing anything I can get my hands into. A few years ago, in 2015, me and my friends decided to go down to California and enjoy the outdoors out of the beach. On the last day of spring break, I was uh, body surfing and was taking the last wave in, feeling a little tired, so I took the wave and this one felt a little different. I ended up, it ended up crashing me on top of my head and I felt and heard uh, a very loud pop and knew that something was wrong. Once the, thing, the wave settled, I tried to move and realized I couldn't and it was very scary. I was face down in the water, unable to breathe and I looked up and looked around and realized no one was coming to save me. I held my breath as long as I could, but eventually knew my body was going to make me breathe. And so I said a prayer to God and I said, if you're going to save me, you're going to have to do it now. If not, I'll see you in a few moments. At that point, my body forced me to breathe and I took a big gulp of water instead of air into my lungs. Shortly after that, I had, one of my friends came and flipped me over. And I remember looking up at him and saying, I'm dead, I'm dead. And he said, no, you're not, you're okay. And I said, well, I'm paralyzed. And at that point, he uh, floated me over to the beach where the lifeguards could get me strapped up and put me into the ambulance. When I came to, I couldn't speak, I couldn't breathe on my own, and I had no idea what day it was. Shortly afterward, I realized that I had missed an entire week of my life and I had no idea. The reason I wasn't able to speak is because they gave me a tracheotomy. And what, what that is, they cut a hole in your throat so that they can access your lungs and help you breathe, hook you up to a ventilator. And, clear out the lungs and the reason that I had to have that was because of all the water I took into my lungs and I was battling pneumonia really bad and so it was kind of a really scary time in my life um, because of the pneumonia and doing the trach I had to learn to eat again and drink again and I couldn't I couldn't do either at the time I had a, a tube feed one day I was feeling pretty good and decided to push my limits uh, my CNA had a sandwich there for me for lunch and I ate a little bit of it and kind of was choking on it, so I washed it down with some Gatorade. A couple hours later, all of a sudden, there was some beeping going on in one of the machines, and a bunch of doctors flooded in my room. I was, had no idea what was going on, and had found out later that I had aspirated, and so that means I had some food and water that went back into my lungs and was losing oxygen again, and basically had to start back to square one. And so after all that hard work, a month later, I had to start back and that was incredibly frustrating. But I decided to stay positive and keep going and I was happy to report a month later I was able to eat a double-double and wash it down with some root beer. As you can imagine, I had a lot of rehab and work to do to overcome both, both mentally as well as physically. And it was really hard on some days I would have a lot of work and a lot of progress and then I was it seemed like I was always taking two steps back and it was really difficult to, to stomach the fact that I was paralyzed and come to grips with everything and so on a particularly difficult day I was complaining while in the hospital to my brother Steve and he graciously was listening to me and after a while decided to offer some advice. He said that I could only take 10 minutes a day to feel sorry for myself and other than that I had to buck up and work as hard as I could to overcome this trial. I decided to take that to heart and really implement it in my life. Every time that I started feeling bad for myself, I'd count the minutes and only allow myself 10 minutes. And other than that, I did everything I could to, to better myself. I held on to the idea that I was gonna walk again. And I'm gonna walk again. Okay. And slowly, it kind of seemed to fade that the possibility might not be there. And every time that prospect kind of disappeared, I just let myself have those 10 minutes and, and then I worked to, to do what I could control. When I originally was in the hospital, I realized that nobody liked to be around people that were negative and upset. And so I didn't want to be that person. And so I realized I needed to be positive and at least fake it until I actually felt positive. And so if I needed them, I'd take those 10 minutes and then I would put a smile on and staying positive was really what 
what got me from, from where I, I started to where I am now. Since my injury, I've been able to graduate from college. I earned my real estate license. I landed an internship and a full-time job, which I love. And best of all, I married the love of my life. Every time I encounter a new struggle, a new trial, I focus on those times in the hospital when I was able to overcome and I know that I can continue to do it. And every time I'm able to kill it. I'm Matt Bowen and I'm inspired by the positive.